Assiniboine Downs is proud to present our featured race here in race number six. It's the 59th running of the Gold Cup. They're going to go a mile and an eighth for a purse of $25,000. Number one is Son of Eleanor, owned and trained by Guy Kling, Ronaldo Cumberbatch aboard. Number two is Power Driven, owned by Al Johnson, trained by Gary Danielson with Adolfo Morales. Number three is Wit Six, owned by Henry Witt Jr., trained by Jerry Gorno with Christopher Husbands. Number four is Private Money Game, owned by Saber Farms, trained by Tim Rycroft with Richard Mares. Number five is CC Ride, owned by Gerald Babchishin, trained by Tanya Lindsay with Kayla Pizarro. Rounding out our Gold Cup field is number six, Sumerian Bell, owned by Canvasback Farms, trained by Heather Wallerstead with Antonio Whitehall. Post time for race number six, the Gold Cup, in five minutes. They're at the post. And they're off in the Gold Cup. From the inside, Son of Eleanor goes straight out after the early lead, Wit Six. Has good position in between horses. To the far outside, Sumerian Bell now goes up towards the front to get position early. On the outside, that's private money game. Back to your early trailer, CC Ride and Power Driven. Samarian Bell cuts the opening quarter in a quick 22 and three to his outside with six, three wide private money game, hugging the rail son of Eleanor in fourth, back to CC Ride who has about six to make up and power driven is your early trailer. The half in 47 seconds and Samarian Bell has the lead by two. Three wide on the outside. That's private money game on the rails. Son of Eleanor in between horses with six. That trio behind the leader. And from the back of the field, they're starting to group up as CC Ride and Power Driven start to show a little run. Three quarters in one, 11 and four. Sumerian Bell still looking strong with the advantage by two. Back in second, that's Wit Six. Starting to show some run on the far outside. CC riding, power driven. They hit the head of the lane. Samarian Bell with the lead by two. Wit Six in an all out drive in second. Samarian Bell at the 16th pull. Wit Six with more to offer on the outside. And Wit Six now goes by and is gonna take it. Samarian Bell a game second in the gold cup. Very close for third between CC Ride and Power Driven. Now entering the winner's enclosure is the official winner of the 59th running of the Gold Cup. That's number three, Wit Six. Wit Six is a dark bay or brown gelding, four years old, by Drums of Thunder, out of the mare Tate Hill, by Graham Hall. Owned by Henry Witt Jr., trained by Jerry Gorno, and ridden a victory by Christopher Husbands. Time for the mile and an eighth, one, 52 and four. Assiniboy Downs is pleased to have on hand the Chief Executive Officer here at ASD, Darren Dunn to make a presentation to the winning connections. Also, congratulations goes out to a Cinnaboy Downs leading rider, Christopher Husbands, who notches the four bagger au naturel four wins in a row for jockey Christopher Husbands.
Race six is official in the upcoming seventh race. There are no changes. Post time for race number seven. 21 minutes away. directing your attention back down to the winner's enclosure ASD Patakos Rob McLennan has the winning connections of the Gold Cup Rob take it away thanks Kurt we're down here with the winning connections of the Gold Cup here at ASD Christopher Husbands Henry Witt Jr. Jerry Gorno with Witt 6 for the third win in a row here at ASD Chris a very interesting race you were kind of up close into a fast early pace you sat off of it down the backside and ended up closing with a furious kick what did you kind of think of the race as it played out well I was kind of early like more earlier than I wanted to but I was he still felt comfortable going on the back I kind of give him a breather and relax for me I kind of misjudged it a little bit like I had a, felt like I had a lot of heart but I felt the heart that was in front um, Whitehall she rode a really good race I thought, you know, he would have died off, but he really handled himself really good, so I had to really work for it down the lane a bit. Yeah, you really had to have dead aim at him at kind of the eighth pole. You were a length and a half off of it, and you did have more horse the last little while, but it definitely was a grinding victory. When did you kind of feel, like I know you're going to say the wire, but did you feel you kind of had good measure on him as of late? Like, kind of when I joined him too, you know, my heart got a bit more competitive, right? I mean, Whitehall, he was still, he's a really good rider, I must say. You know? He was still going at it, but my heart was more, had a bit more in, than his, so I figured, well, I got it. I just got to keep you know, grinning at him. Congratulations, Chris. Anything else to add other than this was a tremendous year here with Wit6? Yeah, it was awesome here with him. Huh? He's, he's a really solid horse. Huh? He tries every time I ask him. I'd like to thank Jerry and the owners for giving me the opportunity to ride in this great horse. You know, thanks a lot, guys. Huh? Um, there's a bunch of riders from Barbados, you know. We got big up yourself, you know, 246. Uh, um, Whitehall, again, he's having a great year. His first year, he's doing awesome. So, uh, but everything, you know, thanks a lot, guys. Congratulations, Chris. That is your 2016 leading rider here at ASD. We'll move on to Jerry Garno here. With six, the light bulb seemed to have came on midsummer here, and he's really gotten good. What's kind of been the key to the success? I think the uh, distance, just changing him up, you know, when we were running five and a half, six furlongs, he was closing all the time, but he wasn't getting the ground that he needed. As soon as we start stretching him out, the horse seems like he likes a mile or better. The further he goes, the better he is, more comfortable he is when he runs. He just enjoys what he does out there. If you watch him in the morning, he's just a really easy pace horse. He lollygags out there. He doesn't even get into it. But as soon as it, you turn him around and face him for home, he starts bucking and playing and trying to get everybody off his back or anybody off his back. He seems like a really cool horse that's really blossomed under your care here in the last two years. This is, I believe, the sixth stakes victory for him here at ASD. Now, kind of what happens next? I know he's run a bunch of tough races and are always at a long campaign, but I know there's some rich Texas bred stuff coming too, I think. Yes, there, there's a couple of races down in Ritama that we're kind of gearing towards. And then after that, we're going to give him a little break. He deserves one. You know, he's run hard. He's run hard for the last two years, made a lot of money, and made us famous. Yeah. There you go with Wit6. I know you've tried some tough horses, and he's looked like the very tough horse here at ASD. But give us your final thoughts. 22 and 347. Chris had him up close to the early pace. Were you a little bit worried, or what did you kind of think of the race as it was going on? Well, as it was going on, I was a little bit nervous about the idea of him being stuck in between horses. Sometimes he doesn't like that, and he'll just back himself out. But Chris had him going, kept on after him, after him. All of a sudden, when he decided to sit down on him, go with him. And then one horse, you know, uh, hats off to that number six. That horse ran lights out. We're just lucky we caught him right at the end. But, you know, when you got a horse that likes a route of ground like that, he tries no matter what. And when he hits the wire, that's when he stops. Yeah, he ran a huge race. Congratulations, Jerry. Anything else to add here? No, just thanks a lot to Assiniboy Downs for treating us so good. You know, every, every year that we come back, they do a variety of different things for us. Uh, they help us out in any way that we can. Horsemen are, are really complacent on the ideas of what happens with uh, the racetrack and the things that go on. Uh, we're just happy to be here. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Henry.
Thank you, Jerry. We'll move on to Henry here. A tremendous victory, a tight finish as well. What was your kind of thoughts the last three-eighths of a mile there? Well, my heart was beating so hard I couldn't hardly tell. <laughs> yeah, he, when he came around that turn, I thought he might have let, let the horse get away from him a little too much, and uh, I was kind of worried about it. But when he started spanking him a little bit, he responded, and I seen him coming. I said, I said he's coming, so I was happy when he got there. I said, we had that finish line was there anyway <laughs> with him in the front. This really has turned into a very cool horse. He's one going five and a half. He's one going six. This year, he's run going a mile, a mile and a sixteenth. He was second in the Canadian Derby last year. This horse has done really everything you guys have asked for him. What's going to be the next chapter here for Whitsex? Well, like Jerry said, we got a couple of races in Texas. We're going to run him, and then I'm going to give him a little time off. You know, that Whitsex, when he was a baby, he was competitive. I'd, I'd have 15 or 20 babies out there in the pasture, and they'd run. He'd always come get them on the end like that. I was just happy he wasn't too far back this time to get the victory, but he did good. I'd like to thank Jerry. He's a heck of a trainer and a good good guy and his grooms and everybody that works on the backside. You know, I drove race cars for years, and I won a lot, and they give me the credit, but without my crew, I wouldn't have won all them races. And I'd like to thank uh, the track here and the CEO and assistant CEO. They're fabulous people, and uh, they treat you the best in the world. You know, I've been all over the world running horses, and I believe this is the best place in the whole country to come and race horses. There's a guy up there that me a while ago said, why do you come over? I said, man, they treat you great over here. It's a good place to come. And I appreciate everybody and thank you. Thank you very much, Henry. We do really appreciate it. Congratulations. A tremendous season for Wit Six. Congratulations to all involved. Henry Witt Jr., Jerry Gorno, Christopher Husbands, and your Gold Cup winner in 2016, Wit Six.